Want to see something funny that's also kind of disturbing? Luna? Luna! Luna baby! Let's take this kangaroo. She really likes to play with this, but she only likes to play with it when it hangs. So this just kind of looks a little scary. Hi everyone. Uh, we're just gonna shoot a vlog today. We got a bunch of stuff in the mail uh, that I thought would be really fun to play with. So we're going to unbox that. And also um, two months ago, I bought these stickers for my camera that make it look like it's an Arctic camo camera. I don't know why you would need to hide a camera in the Arctic, but it just looked really cool. So um, we're gonna we're gonna put those on the camera and see the transformation for it. But also in the meantime, our cat's uh, been having some softer stools. So we're gonna go drop off a sample to make sure that she's healthy and happy because we're worried about you during the quarantine. Also, you're at the point where you might go into heat soon. So that's fun. Excuse me, Lizzie Pierce. Show everybody the cool things that you just got in the mail. <laughs> Let me just. So I got the value pack version of this. So it comes with two of each book. So these two gray ones are the same. These two black ones are the same. Each one. So this is a story clock notebook. So you can plan out your storyline of your film or video or whatever. What I was originally looking for is this storyboard notebook because I really wanted something like this for my short film. So it just has a bunch of pages for you to storyboard all of the different shots for your film. You're working on a film, aren't you? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna start now that I have my books. <laughs> yeah. I, it's all in my head. I just gotta put it in here and then shoot it and then edit it and then upload it. So I haven't started. Lizzie's been wanting to work on a short film this year as one of her goals. I'm gonna probably be helping on it a little bit, but it's mostly her goal. So she's been waiting for these storyboarding books so that she can really plan out the whole narrative for the video because that's the most important thing is the actual story. It's very easy to get caught up in gear. Hence why I'm shooting on the iPhone today because rather than thinking this has to be on a DSLR, I just wanna start making something like this bed. I always feel so much better after I've made the bed. I think that's like, isn't that like a tip from a professional productivity person? They're like, Always start your day by making the bed and then the rest of the day will be efficient. One of the other things that we got in the mail today, which I'll unbox later, is this thing here. These are some backdrops that I think I bought from like the Ukraine off of like a Facebook ad. I don't know if they're any good, but we shall see. But this is gonna be really good for flat lays. So maybe once we're done putting the stickers on the camera, maybe we'll take some flat lays and this will be a combined way of showing you the results of how to make your camera look cool on a flat lay. Anyways, I keep delaying wanting to go out. I'm gonna put my pants on now and move forward. Wait, I have a tip for everyone at home. So every day I have four rituals I do. Okay, so the first one is a morning ritual and I just list a bunch. It doesn't have to be like big things you do every morning. It could be like, I drink a glass of water. I wash my face. I make my bed. And doing all those things creates a sense of like, you've gotten a few things done. And also just looking at your made bed makes you feel like a more complete person. You don't wanna get back into bed. The bed's been made. You can't go back into bed. Setting up those rituals, it gives you a sense of stability and accomplishment for your days in social isolation. No, Lizzie makes a really good point. Having structure will make you more creative and more productive. So just start with a simple task, like making your bed, drinking some water, maybe having a cup of coffee, and I'm petting a kitty, bye. Ugh. Yo, is anyone else's cat kind of a bitch? The last two days we had to do this project for Moment. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. They asked us to shoot a bunch of footage with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. It's a phone gimbal. It's actually a really good phone gimbal. And I shot some footage of Lizzie here in 4K that actually looked pretty solid considering it was shot on a phone. So here's a couple clips from that. And this is such a good reminder because today I had this thing where I was like, oh, I don't have my camera, it's at the office, so I can't start shooting a video. No, I have an iPhone, I can make things on my iPhone. Remember that this camera's actually pretty good. Not even pretty good, it's pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. It's still a tool where I can tell a story. So don't forget that if you wanna create something, don't make excuses, because I make excuses all the time. I'm like, oh, I don't have this, or this person's not available, or the quarantine. No, you can still create, you can do stuff. That's what this exercise is. So check out this footage because it's pretty solid. I also told Lizzie that I would leave a couple times. She's like ready. I'm always ready waiting for you. <laughs> I really am. I'm not ready. <laughs> Luna!
sample. So Lizzie has dropped the sample off. How did the sample drop off? Just go. put it on this little chair that's right in front of the door. So you can't even go in. You just like drop off the poop and then you leave. We are gonna go to the office, unbox these things, and then put some stickers on my camera. You think it's gonna look cool? Yeah. <sighs> Taste the lip balm. What are you doing with the lip balm? Why are you putting it under your eye? Lip and eye balm. Lip eye balm? Classic Lizzie got the go away sign. Let's unbox this and open this. Switch into this guy. Three, two, one. Activewear, activewear. Go into the video on the activewear. Activewear, activewear. Buying groceries in the activewear. Wearing activewear, because I'm working out now, trying to be a healthy person. Okay, so we have these. These are our protective skins for our camera. It's gonna look like Arctic camo, which is pretty cool. This way that if you're ever in Iceland and you're trying to shoot, let's say photos of an Arctic fox, they won't think that you have a camera in your hand. They'll be like, he's not threatening. Sweet, I'll get closer to him. Okay, let's figure out how to put these stickers on. This looks like that's the body. This goes on the top part. This looks like it's part of the grip. This is the stickers for the top. I really don't know how this is gonna go. I bought a couple of Lego kits recently and I don't know if you guys remember when you were playing with Lego as a child, but sometimes there were like sticker kits and you had to put stickers on it. My stickers are always at like weird angles. So on the website, this looks really good, but I have a feeling I'm gonna do a really bad job and it's just gonna kind of look like garbage. We shall see. Lifeguard stickers, water resistant, precise cutting, no residue, camera and skin and lens skin. Please attach the skin according to the camera lens body, blah, 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 blah. Other details that seem very unnecessary. Let's Casey nice at this throw away instructions and just try to do it ourselves because it's stickers. How hard could this be? It was at this moment that he knew. I think it's gonna be pretty hard. Let's start with this one. It's said to have tweezers. I don't have that. <gasps> Lizzie has tweezers. Ooh, Lizzie. Guys, get yourself a fiance. Best decision ever. This is difficult. Should not be trusted. This is so hard. This is stressful. Stressful. I got this little tool to help make it easier. Hey, your boy didn't do the worst job. Why do I say your boy? I'm a man. Sometimes. This is stressful. This will be fun. You know what would be better than watching me apply this? Is maybe I'll do a bit of a time lapse. Okay, this is our final camera and sticker job. Hey, not bad, that looks pretty sweet. So that is what a Sony a7R III looks like with a camo sticker job. I kind of love it. Now Arctic foxes around the world would be like, that's a floating lens. I think it actually looks super sick. Lizzie, what do you think? So I shall buy a couple more of these. If you guys also want to pick them up, this is not sponsored at all. I'll just link where I got it from the company AlphaGuard below. You can also get stickers for the lenses, which I might do at some point because it might make this lens look a lot cooler. That being said, I think this looks pretty sweet, guys. Check this out. Here, I'll do I'll do a thumbnail. It's a different look. So why did I do this? Why did I actually buy this sticker? I thought it'd be interesting to have a slightly different looking camera. For me, I want something that's cool for photos, that's aesthetic, that kind of separates me as a content creator. Stylizing your gear and having a personal touch on things is always a good way to stand out. A great conversation starter, it protects your camera, it makes it look different, it's good for photos. So like, for me, those are all wins and that's worth $50. It might not be worth $50 to everyone. All right, let's open some of these other packages. Oh, that was a horrible sound. Wow, a knife would work really, really well in this situation. Highqualitybackdrop.com. The website looked a little sketchy. I could have paid in rubles if I wanted to. I got pulled in by those dang Facebook ads. Does that look good? The reason I bought these were for thumbnails so that we could take cool flat lays. <laughs> Bless you, this is probably the, one of the better ones. This one's actually pretty decent too. Oh, this one's nice. Whoa. Oh. Woo.
Well, that's all for the fun unboxings. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. If you guys want to check out any of the products that we uh, talked about in this video, links are below. And I hope everyone's feeling happy, safe, and on that note, battle time with Lizzie. It's in my planner. Is it's that nice. What you're me? No, it's what good. I'm me? no one proud of you. That sounded like a dying antelope. Do not get me to start an ASMR channel unless you want just like weird horror sounds. Like I'm in a concrete jail cell in Latvia.